that we're seeing in schools is, is a big increase of students with problems with anxiety because so much of their, their self-worth is via external means. They're not doing things for themselves, they're doing things for other people and, and the appearance of that as well. And I think that can be quite potentially dangerous, you know, when so many, you know, now we have the age of influencers, you know, this is something really new that, you know, people can actually have careers out of influencing other people from what they do in their lives. And so much of that is appearance based. It's the photos that they're posting, you know, the new outfit that they're wearing. And actually that places a lot of pressure, I think, on young people to, to really show themselves in that way at all times. And actually then if they're feeling not great about themselves, they beat themselves up about it rather than just say, oh, I'm just having a bad day. That, you know, they, they really place uh, a lot of emphasis on themselves having to be feeling great all the time because all of these people on social media are clearly having the best time ever all the time but obviously we know that's not the case. I think it is really important that we see lots of different shapes and sizes, you know, people of, you know, all different backgrounds um, because really they are their role models and that's who they look up to and if we're not seeing that broad range then really what they're expecting is that everyone should be the same which is a completely unrealistic expectation you know we can never expect all of our students to to be the same and actually that would then really dilute what what, what diversity and you know and culture and everything that we have um, in our society which we should be celebrating is that diversity and if we're not doing that through the role models that we see in the media then that's a real missed opportunity because if people feel that they have to be a certain way then they're not going to be themselves and that we know can lead to mental health issues with constantly comparing yourself against a, an unrealistic ideal. I think it's just making sure that parents are really showing their children that, there are, that it's acceptable to be who you are and to really embrace that and to know, for them to know that it's okay to, to be a bit different, to be a bit weird sometimes, you know, to, to really show who they are um, because that at the end of the day, that unconditional love that you get from parents is so important and I think uh, many of the issues that we've seen um, in young people who have lots of different issues is when perhaps the, whoever's taking care of them or whoever's close to them places conditions on, on that love that they're giving, you know, that they may not explicitly say it, but if you do well in your studies, you know, then, then, then they'll love you more. And, and essentially that's what we're getting with that body image as well. If they're not then modelling the, the positive role models and showing them that you can be lots of different ways, then actually then they feel like that, that is conditional. They're, then they'll only be loved if if they look a certain way or they act a certain way or they behave a certain way and, and placing conditions on that can lead to you know, really big problems later in life as well. And really focusing on that self-image which is not the most important thing. So celebrating you know, what they're good at, their achievements and again everyone's good at different things but making sure they're really praising their, their children to, to up their self-esteem so they don't feel like they have to place so much of that emphasis on their body image and that, that being the most important thing. I just think that the more that we can campaign to help reduce the stigma against mental health issues, the better. I think that it's, a, it's an incredibly important issue and early intervention and early prevention is where we should be headed. It shouldn't be firefighting, it shouldn't be about um, trying to help those when they're in absolute crisis. It should be about preparing them to be able to cope with the challenges of life um, and to be able to overcome them as resilient individuals rather than feeling like we're fighting a losing battle because we're only dealing with it at the, at the top end at the most extreme. So education can play a big part in that, in making sure we, we flag things super early and, and getting, this, getting them into services much quicker.